Community Development Board on Monday, October 16th. Uh, my name is Ken Lau. Um, Rachel is not in today, so I'll be acting chair. Uh, can I introduce the rest of the board members? Starting with Steve, uh, Steve Revelock, good evening. Eugene Benson. And Claire Richter here is from the um, planning board. And um, Marissa. Marissa Lau. Marissa Lau. So um, let's start with. Uh, we doing okay? You doing great? Let's start with uh, uh, agenda number one: public hearing, citizens' warrant for a fall uh, town meeting. And this is Article 13, Zoning Bylaw uh, Amendment, MBTA Communities Act. And we're going to take uh, 10 minutes um, for an opponent to uh, make a statement. And then we'll discuss amongst ourselves. And then we'll open it up for whoever's here. Can you please come up to the mic? Yep. Do you have anything? I do, I do not, no. Okay. And, and this is not going to take anywhere near 10 minutes. Um, Winnell Evans, Orchard Place. I submitted this article, and I have to apologize because it was my own ignorance that led me to submit an article when, in fact, I should have been submitting an amendment. Uh, so right there, I started off on the wrong foot. But in the process of this, uh, especially in gathering the signatures in order to get this article on the warrant, uh, I think it was a really worthwhile exercise because I gathered about two and a half times the required number, talked to an awful lot of people, got to hear their concerns. Um, and I am uh, so grateful to the board for listening to those concerns. Uh, I know you guys have had a lot of letters as well. And I think that the decision to reconsider the height in the neighborhood multifamily district uh, has gone a long way to making people feel heard. Uh, and to feel that this is going to be a, a change in town that will be more acceptable, easier for them to kind of get their minds around. Um, so I'm very, very happy about that. I do intend to submit an amendment to further pursue the boundary of the neighborhood multifamily districts. And if all goes well, I should be submitting that tomorrow. It has been an arduous uh, evolutionary process. But I will not be pursuing this article um, unless there were so many amendments and somebody came back and tried to reverse the, the decision on the heights, but I, I hope that that will not happen. So I do not plan to pursue this. So are you going to withdraw this? Uh, according to town council, one cannot withdraw an article. Uh, so it will simply, it, to my understanding, it will simply be up to the board to vote no action. Okay. Which I'm assuming is what will happen. Well, I'm going to see, but... <laughs> The rest of the board members uh, feel like doing. Yep. Uh, are you finished? Yes, that's that's all I've got. Gene, do you have any questions? Yes, I do have a couple of questions. Thanks, Winnell, for mm -hmm. coming in and, and doing this. And, and I agree that our course of action is to vote no action on this because there's no main motion to go along with it. So there's really no opportunity unless we want to sit here and write something ourselves, which I don't think we want to do. Um, I guess my main, well, I have a couple of questions. In your amendment, will you be including a revised parcel list and a revised map? I will be, and this is what has been so incredibly stressful and time consuming. So yes, I, I definitely will be. I am trying to parallel what the redevelopment board has presented as closely as I possibly can in, in terms of the presentation and what I'm providing. And, and I guess the other question is, you probably know that for the, the districts to meet the requirements, they must be contiguous and at least five acres. Have you figured out how to reduce the boundaries and keep them at um, I, contiguous and five acres? I believe that I have. That has been yet another element that's been incredibly stressful and time consuming. But I believe that I have solved that, yes. Yeah, I think for a town meeting, it would be helpful for you to indicate the acreage. On yes, the I, I plan to, yes. OK, yes. that was it. Thank you. Thank you. Steve? Uh, I just one question. Uh, mm -hmm. Will you be able to provide capacity calculations? I am doing my best on that as okay. well, yes, yes. That is all, Mr. Chair. I have one question. 
Mm -hmm. um, you're going to show a map of the boundaries of, of what is that going to mimic what's already been shown? Yes, I am actually using the version 3A map okay. as the underlying uh, uh, map so that all parcels are indicated. The proposed uh, Mass Ave Broadway multifamily district is indicated. The proposed neighborhood multifamily districts are indicated. And then mine are simply showing what I am changing. So yes, I, I'm using your so the base map. So the footprint's still the same. It's just the heights and some of the setbacks are a little it's, different. It's the, no, it's it's actually the reach of the boundary. Um, so I am reducing the boundary um, of of this multifamily neighborhood multifamily district. Not in East Arlington because it can't be reduced any further and retain required mm -hmm. contiguity, to my understanding. Okay, I, I just want to because I want to make clear that. If you add any areas, mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not sure um, we can do that because you have g given the owners proper notice. They, I have added five parcels, and according to Claire, uh, they are within, apparently you sent out notices to parcels within 300, and fi uh, 300 feet of the affected parcels. So this is well within that boundary, so they should have been noticed. Okay. That yeah, that's a requirement of any map change is that we notice everybody within the who's impacted exactly by the map change and then any abutters within 300 feet of the cl of the okay so closest parcel everything that she wants to do all the butters have been notified correct okay so that, all right that's all i have to say okay thank you okay. um i guess any questions from the public well question or comment i mean it's the same thing yeah, do you mind uh, stating? I have more comment, so to you, but I can ask. I mean, I can. Can you come up and state yeah, your name sure. and and uh, so everybody else oh. uh, uh, can can hear it too? So yeah, Grant Cook, uh, Wollaston, so I am precinct sixteen. So I know this isn't going to be an amendment we debate here, but I do. If it was, I would encourage you to vote no action on it. I mean, the changes you made. I was in a precinct meeting last night and someone said, I want a bit more compromise in arguing for us going down to the do nothing basic bare minimum. And that's, to me, feels like compromise, like where someone doesn't order dessert and asks for half of yours and then asks for a few more bites later. We keep cutting this down. So last week you guys did some big changes. Um, and the expressed explanation of your changes was that you're going to make these neighborhood units consistent with the neighborhood, shorter, setbacks consistent. If they're consistent with the neighborhood, then let's not treat them like outcasts in the neighborhood. 250 to me, if, if this was to go forward, is the wrong direction. I think it should go to 450. I mean, if they are neighborhood consistent, they should be welcomed in the neighborhood. My block on Park Ave, which is someplace I think you should, because we all agree, because I hope we all agree, we'll do more of this. That's what I've heard from a lot of people after we take the tenor of the results. My block, my house, Wollaston off Park, is 350 feet. To me, that would cover my house and my street. I think that's an appropriate dimension. So I hope you stick in that range and we stick with the plan we have that is, I think, a good start. Thank you. Thank you. Please come up and state your name. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. Steve Moore, Piedmont Street. Um, I would like to actually argue the opposite of the comment you just heard, which is uh, 250, I think, is a good compromise between those who want zero change and those who support the general approach that the ARB and the town has taken to, to date prior to the actual votes that will happen in the special town meeting. Um, I don't believe 250 into the neighborhood, feet into the neighborhood is unwelcoming. Um, I don't. I can't say 450 into the neighborhood is welcoming or unwelcoming. It's just a distance, and I don't. Uh, I don't feel that um, this particular scaling back uh, is such a massive impact. I would like to ask a question, and I apologize. I was late to the meeting. This may have been stated during the presentation, so I apologize if this already has been answered. But this change has the analysis been done at all by by Ms. Wanell? about how much this would decrease the current 30, what is it, 3,200 is the current analysis of 
the capacity that's generated by the changes you made about a week or two ago? Could 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 somebody could you answer yeah, that? Let me quickly? just check that number. Can can I say something? Sure. This is sort of in some way completely out of scope of what we're doing. All we're doing is going to say no action on Ms. Evans' mm -hmm. um, um, warrant article because she doesn't want to go ahead with the warrant article. She hasn't presented a main motion. So we're not here oh, to either I, do what you're saying, Mr. Moore, sure. or what Mr. Cook was saying. I had my speech press. All right. <laughs> so right, so we're, not, not, we're, we're, not, we're not here to do that. That's what, okay. th I, that's, we're not here to give a pro or con about what Ms. Evans is going to propose as an amendment tonight. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Benson. I apologize. Sure, no problem. Yeah, serve me right for being late. <laughs> Does anybody else want to make a comment? I'm going to close uh, comment and discuss amongst ourselves. Is there a motion, or do you want to discuss further? Or uh, I have nothing to, no further questions, Mr. Chair. I would make a motion that we recommend no action on this article. I'll second. Okay. Uh, Steve? Uh, yes. Jean? Yes. And uh, also a yes. So there's no action on this? Thank you. Now moving on to docket number two. Uh, Is Jim here? Hey Jim, we're, we're running a little early today. Uh, thank you for being here. Yes, please, can you come sit down here? And uh, uh, I do want to say that uh, there's only three of us here today, and we cannot uh, vote on this today. Okay. Since there's only three of us here. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what I would suggest is can we reschedule you uh, to come back again? Sure. Uh, or do you feel like you want to uh, say something since you're here already? No, I think at the introduction that um, you gave me a month or so ago when we were over in the selectmen's hearing room, okay. I, I kind of gave you know overview and then the comments that I submitted I think really outline it. Um, that's it. All right, so can we uh, uh, make, a, make a time to uh, reschedule this? Sure. Um. Um, unfortunately, we, <laughs> we, got town meeting, we got town meeting coming up, mm -hmm. and that's going to occupy um, uh, most of our time. Mm -hmm. Are we meeting on the 20th of November? Um, yes. Yeah. That work, Melissa? Mm -hmm. That's cutting it pretty close to the three-year deadline. Is there an earlier November meeting? There's November 6th, but we haven't noticed it. Although I guess we did notice this. We can open and continue to the 6th. Let's do that. The 6th? Yep. This, does the 6th work for you? Thank you for that you? observation. Does the 6th work for you? Uh, yeah. yeah. Excellent. I'm sorry. Can I get a motion for the 6th? So I move that the hearing be continued to November 6th at 7.30 p.m. Uh, at 27 Maple Street or at some other location at which we may meet. I have a second on this. I would ask a friendly amendment not sure. to give the time, because it may not be the 7.30. Uh, I, I, all right, uh, to 7.30 or such time as, as we shall need at 27 Maple Street or such place as we shall need. Thank you. I will second that. Steve? Uh, yes. Gene? Yes. I'm a yes. Thank you. So we'll continue time. this, okay? Uh, sorry for all today. No worries. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, going to the third thing on our agenda open forum. Uh, does anybody here want to speak upon uh, open forum? You got three minutes. Can you state your name and address? And uh... yes, hi. hi. I'm Ann Leroyer, uh, 12 Pier Street. Um, I was here for the hotel um, discussion, and he referenced um, a previous meeting that had some discussion. I did. I'm not aware of that, and I just wanted to know what that was and if there's any report on it. 
So Mr. Doherty attended the ARB meeting the night of August the 28th in an open forum, made the request that the ARB uh, reopen his uh, hearing related to the hotel. It's in the minutes. August It was 28th? a verbal request. That's right. So that was all that was discussed was just... There was nothing else shown or presented. Okay. okay. He just asked for an extension. Yes. I see. Okay. Nothing new has been submitted at this time. That's why the documents from three years ago are up right. related that's, to this. That's what I'm trying to understand. What's, you know, what, sure. what's, so he was basically just has, asking for an extension. That's correct. Of the whole project. Of the project. Yes. Right. Okay. Well, I, I have a question about um, some of the conditions that in the, in the original permit or the um, decision. Um, one was about trees being cut down, and it said in the conditions that there was one tree to be cut down, but in fact they've already cut down three trees behind the DAV building. They were most, I think they were all three um, Norway maples, which are not our favorite trees, but still they were large trees. Um, part of them had fallen down on top of the roof, and so I understand that there had to be some correction made probably, but um, that I just wanted to clarify that there were actually three trees rather than just one that was cited in the, in the conditions. And I also have a question about junk cars, because on the site, if anybody goes by there, you'll see um, at least five trucks and cars that have been parked there for years. And I know there's a bylaw, town bylaw, relating to that with including fees. And I just wonder whether that's ever been raised as a concern. I mean, it's just part of the um, abuse of that property that's been going on for years. And I know that, you know, maybe eventually it'll be improved with a hotel or some other project that he proposes. But for now, it's, it's, it still is a, um, you know, uh, terrible looking site and if this is going to be continued for another year or you know I don't know how long I just would hope that somebody could look into whatever bylaw town bylaws um, are related to the junk cars that have been there like I say for decades for not well probably decades it's been over 10 day, 10 years that he's owned that property um, anyway it's just it's just a mess and um, it's too bad that this has been prolonged for so long. Thank, Thank you. you. Can I say something? Sure. Yeah, it, we, we don't have any authority over the junk cars. You know, you might find out who it is in town who enforces the bylaw and pursue that. My suggestion is calling the uh, building department. Okay. Uh, anybody else? Seeing nobody else, I'm closing uh, Article 3, open forum, and turn uh, Article 4, new business. Claire, do you have anything for today? I have no new business for today other than to remind folks that town meeting starts tomorrow night. Um, we will be discussing um, several Warren articles related to business zones and zoning. Um, it's not anticipated that MBTA communities or Article 12 will be taken up before next Monday. Thank you. Steve? Uh, yes, I, I have two questions. Um, sure. One, I was wondering what the current state of uh, affairs is with uh, Calix, the um, recreational dispensary. So, Calix Peak has a been in contact with them. They will be on the uh, agenda for the 6th. Okay. And uh, the other, my other question, what, Mr. Chair, was uh, have we heard from town council regarding uh, voting quant about voting quantums for the various business district articles? You know, the half versus two thirds. So I know there was a question of um, the 50% threshold possibly applying to some. Your question's well taken. I have been uh, pursuing the uh, town council for an answer to that question for a few days now. Um, I can continue to look for an answer, obviously, before tomorrow evening. 
<laughs> you know, we got a new town council. It's it's yes. a transition right now, mm -hmm. so it's That's gonna true. be it's gonna be a little. Yeah. Uh, Gene, do you have any? No. no, I have none. So I'm gonna uh, close uh, new business. And is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Uh, Steve. Yes. Gene. Yes. And I'm a yes also. Thank you very much for coming and uh, very short meeting, but thank you. Thank you all. Thank I'll you. see you guys tomorrow at town meeting, right? Yep. Absolutely.